You have some experience with that, having been a community banker back in Arkansas. Right. Well, David, thanks for having me. Yes, yeah, Steve Mnuchin's been very constructive since uh, April 3rd in trying to make the Paycheck Protection Program the centerpiece of the administration's effort to get people back to work, keep workers connected to a job. And here in Arkansas, over 40,000 businesses and three point, nearly $3.4 billion have helped keep people on payroll and connected to a job as Arkansas opens back up. So we passed in the House, the Senate concurred, and President Trump signed into law last week some additional flexibility for those PPP loans. Uh, there's a fair amount, a surprising amount to some people at least, of money that's gone out already under the PPP program. Has it gone to the right places? Because we hear some reports that maybe some of the, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, that some of the companies have been left out. And let's put it specifically in the context of right now today, we're seeing really some of the effects of economic inequality. What do you see back in Arkansas in terms of the banking system and its service for minorities? Right. Well, thank you for asking that question, because we have a national leader in the community development financial institution space, the CDFI space, Darren Williams at Southern Bank Corp. He and his partners have been leaders on making sure that CDFIs got their share of PPP loan access. It's always been an important part of my career, both in banking and now in Congress. I was President Bush's appointee on the CDFI advisory board back in the early 2000s. So I know the importance to CDFIs at reaching the unbanked and the uh, nearly unbanked around the country, particularly in poorer communities.